blessed day guys and peace be upon you today so in this video we're going to uh, configure what's called a .1Q or trunk native vlans using cisco packet tester tool okay so before we can go into uh, the configuration part allow me to open this google spreadsheet and let you know that today we are in the fourth class under switching technologies okay all right so uh, after that one i'll just open um, ppt so that we can understand what native vlan means so we see by default all switch ports belong to the default vlan one okay so we see that when our, our frame transverse a trunk port a villain tag is added to distinguish which frame belong to which villain okay so access port do not require villain tag since all incoming and outgoing frames belong to a single one the nifty villain is simply one villain that transverses a trunk port without a villain tag so when we are using a default villain through the trunk we see that so we see that each frame is given a tag, a villain tag, to distinguish it uh, from other frames on other villains, okay? So, but on native villain, we have default villain through the trunk and native villain through the trunk. So for the native villain to the trunk, you know, it just is simply one villain that transverses through the trunk port. So we can see that when we configure trunk port to the native VLAN and whatever traffic arrives on that port without an existing VLAN tag gets associated with your VLAN, native VLAN, okay? So for example, when a, a traffic arrives at the trunk port without a VLAN tag, that traffic is, uh, is turned into, its VLAN ID is turned into the configured v native VLAN, okay? All right, so without any further ado, you can research more about native villain. It's a lot of um, study material that you need to understand. Okay, this is just a very quick and a shallow, um, a shallow understanding. Okay, so for better understanding, kindly uh, use Google. Okay, all right. So um, I already drew this topology here, so that can it can help us understand how to configure trunk native O802.1 Q native villains configuration okay all right so um also i prepared this notepad to highlight the steps the first step is always to draw necessary topology decorate and comment okay so for example uh, this is our topology here we have two switches and on each side we have a pc just for a demo okay but our main concern is the trunk okay the links between the two switches okay all right so we're not going to touch the PC or any other access port. All right. So create villains and name them. So I'm going to create, uh, let's say, uh, three villains per switch. Uh, let's say villain 10, villain 20, and uh, villain 99, something like that. So I'm going to name villain 99 as our native villain, okay? All right. So I come here. <clears throat> so we create. That was the third step, okay? The second step i mean create villains and name them okay so how do we create villain enable uh config t and we just say villain 10 and uh, name uh, let's say it then villain 20 villain 20 let's name it as hr okay then i want to create villain 99 and name it as a native uh native okay exit so do show a uh, villain you see we have three villains here 10 20 and 99 so villain 99 is going to be our native villain right okay so let's go to the other switch to configure villain villain 10 20 villain 10 20 and 99 all right so i enable config t uh villain 10 uh, name it as it uh, villain 20 uh, to be our hr and finally villain 99 
to be our native okay all right okay so the second the third step tells us that, tells us that we identify trunk links and configure them so when we when we look into this topology here we see that any link connecting the two switches should be the trunk links so you can see we have how many links here two links between these two switches fa1 on top fa2 at the bottom also on this side okay fa1 fa2 so we should make fa1 and fa2 to be um trunk ports okay all right so what i'm gonna do just say interface range fa0-1 to 2 okay because there are two and you want to configure the same parameters okay so just say switch port mode trunk and that's all so we come back here we come back on this switch and make f1 and f2 to uh, interface to have uh, f0 slash 1 to 2 so we just say switch port mode trunk that's all Alright, so the next step tells us that uh, we should display the current native VLAN through the trunk. How do we display the current native VLAN through the trunk? Or, or how do we know uh, the native VLAN? It's a very, very simple command. We just say, do show interface trunk. Okay? And you hit enter. You can see they are still under native VLAN vlan one what we uh saw here but by default by default all switch port belong to default vlan one okay so here when a uh, when a frame tra transverses a uh, traverses a uh, trunk port a vlan tag is added to distinguish which fra which frame belong to which vlan so this is the case here okay Whenever any frame will be passing through this uh, trunk interface, a VLAN tag will be added to distinguish which frame is from which VLAN. Okay? Alright. So we want a situation whereby, let, let me show you on this side also, to show interface trunk. <coughs> So you see, native VLAN, the default VLAN is, uh, the native default native VLAN is, you can see it as VLAN 1, okay? The native VLAN, okay? Alright, but we have all our uh, VLANs configured here. So we want to make uh, these two interfaces to have a native VLAN of 99. So how do we do it? Let me go back to the last steps and see. Uh, configure native VLANs on the trunk links so it's very very simple when i come to switch zero you just configure the native vlan on the trunk links the trunk links are this one if you want and if you just say switch port uh native oh sorry uh trunk native vlan to be 99 very simple and you hit enter and make sure the native VLAN matches on this side and on this side. Okay, very simple. And you just say exit. Come on this side and configure native VLAN uh, on the two interfaces. You can see I have uh, I have received a uh, I have received a message a warning here. Native VLAN mismatch mismatch discovered. So make sure the native VLAN here and here are consistent. They are similar. Okay. So I'll just go to these two interfaces and configure native VLAN. So I just say switch port, uh, trunk, native VLAN to be 99 and hit enter. Oh, native VLAN to be 99 and hit enter. And I just say, you can see, port consistency restored. Initially, they were blocked because uh, the native VLANs were mismatching. Now, they have been unblocked and they have been unblocked. And you see, the port consistency is now restored. Make sure the VLAN, uh, the native VLAN on both sides is the same. 
okay so if you can just say do show interface trunk trunk you see this now the native villain has changed to 99 and guys is very very uh, important for security purpose to change to always change the native villain so you can read more about what native villain means and uh, so that you can understand and some of the security implication of uh, of the default villain okay so it's very very simple it's very very simple and uh, and uh, now if you can also go to the other switch switch zero and say uh, do show uh, interface trunk you will see do show you see the native villain is now 99 very simple and i'll go back to our, our google spreadsheet and mark configuring native villain as done because very very simple video if you don't understand what villain uh, uh, native villain means kindly uh research more about it this course was just all about recap you see here it was all about recap yes so i don't, I don't need to explain a lot of things here because we need to beat the time right okay so thank you so much guys and i believe this video really helped you a lot to learn how to configure native run so tomorrow when we meet we're going to do remote access using talent the other day as i said then we go to uh either channel uh we need to go to sec uh, post security exit exit until we reach to ipv6 for firewall so guys i really appreciate with you don't don't uh, take this training for granted these are all what we're going to use for our enterprise networking training uh, and every piece of information that we share here kindly take it seriously and learn how to configure everything the way we do it so thank you so much please share this video subscribe below like the video and drop a comment so that we can also be motivated to continue providing with uh, quality resources thank you so much